Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now December 1st of 2023 and given that there's been a lot of things happening right now, the walls are closing in on Bob Iger and Disney as a company after the Elon Musk fiasco. As you all know, Elon Musk called out Bob Iger and Disney is one of the companies walking away from the X platform for advertising and stuff like that. And a lot of people have really been siding with Elon Musk leaving Disney Plus as that streaming service is now going through a lot of unsubscri unsubscribe trends basically among those that were previously subscribed. And basically Bob Iger really is just setting himself up for failure throughout 2024. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, the thing about Bob Iger is that this guy, I like to call him Bob Liger. I know that may be getting old, but it is what it is. He likes to lie to his audience, to the shareholders. He likes to string them along into the next year. And that's what he always does. He's going to lie about the performance of Disney+, Plus, about the company Disney, about their box office failures, and will never admit the truth. Now, this is where things get very interesting, as he recently had some things to say about Elon Musk and what he did on stage, and specifically the X platform, and on top of that, the current status of Disney and why... Bob Iger additionally wants nothing to do with the X platform. So it goes in different directions here. It has a lot to do with Elon Musk. It has a lot to do with Disney specifically. Let's get into all of this. Now, with Disney currently in a very delicate position, especially after the Elon Musk fiasco, where he called out both Disney and Bob Iger personally on stage, one major development has to do with Bob Iger's stance on both Elon Musk's view of himself and why Disney is shifting away from the X platform. Now, Iger went on to deliver the following. At Disney, our main objective for our company is to entertain and to not create any kind of a culture war or agenda-driven projects. I'm not sure if those like Mr. Musk and others associated with him would understand and why we are shifting away from the X platform. This is a platform that we do not want to associate ourselves with and we feel it's the best business option we have right now left to make. X has also been the home of promoting a common misconception about my role here at Disney, and I couldn't be any more clear than today. We do not create or engage any culture wars using our products. This involves our films and television shows. While we do not support, while we do support DEI and its insertion into our entertainment, we don't find that as an agenda-driven strategy at all, and we only view that as fairness. Platforms like X have also made users believe that our Disney Plus platform went through a significant subscriber decline throughout this year, and I am here to say the truth that that is nowhere near the truth. In fact, this was one of our best years for Disney Plus subscribers, and we expect to do even better as far as performance goes in its 2024. So yes, it was a must-have move for us to shift from the X platform, to no longer associate with this misunderstanding that has become widespread. Now, guys, let me just stop here quick about this. Now, again, Bob Iger not just blaming about what was going on with Elon Musk on X, but also blaming how the X platform was the home or the destination of promoting or you know making it more widespread about disney embracing culture wars and embracing agenda driven projects stuff like that that's the truth guys i mean i don't know whatever what other way we can really say this but disney is all about agenda driven garbage and dei nonsense and i've said this multiple times in case you guys do not know what it stands for diversity equity and inclusion that whole strategy is hypocritical and flawed look Fine example, Disney supports DEI, why aren't there real dwarfs in the Snow White 2025 film? Hmm, makes you wonder, right? Now, that's exactly what I mean. It's very hypocritical, it's contradictory in nature. So, again, I mean, Bob Iger lies his way through everything, and it's not something that's over-exaggerated. A lot of people would really go as far to agree that Bob Iger will say whatever he has to say, to either get people into theater seats, to get people into the parks, to get people to subscribe to Disney+, Plus, he will do whatever he has to do necessary to get the job done for this year and next. 
because we know that he is planning to step down by 2026, which is when his contract ends. He's not looking to renew it. Neither are the board of directors are fully in support of Bob Iger's thing. So there's a lot of things going on there that we have to talk about too. However, apart from this, among other reasons, he goes on to conclude why we have pulled advertising from the platform. We only wish for a better future and our main goal right now is Marvel and Star Wars. Apart from what Bob Iger stated here behind the scenes, Bob Iger is also preparing to make another more direct statement to Elon Musk in an upcoming interview that is now being prepped by Good Morning America. Iger is planning to set the record straight about Disney not giving into agenda-driven products and is planning to continue to blame the X platform on why so many people are walking away from Disney. Iger behind the scenes is reportedly in fear of his legacy and is already eyeing the X platform as a scapegoat to why Disney Plus subs are walking away just recently, each month as Iger tries to continue to lie his way through this process. Iger is also planning to call out Elon Musk again by the middle of December on Good Morning America directly to, pr to protect Disney and what he views as a valued company purely for entertainment purposes. Again, here's the thing about Bob Iger is that he comes across as like this mild-mannered guy, right? I think a lot of you will agree with me on that. Comes across as a very mild-mannered guy and I think it's why he doesn't get as much flack as you would expect many times. But when he begins to open his mouth, when he begins to say very dumb things and begins to scapegoat and begins to lie again, that's when people really begin to like see the true Bob Iger inside, right? So again, we know that Disney is not in the best shape right now. We know, yes, the stock is fluctuating. It goes way down. It had a little bit of a spike recently. And well, you know, there's several factors going into that. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but there's a lot of things going on with the Disney parks, the box office failures one after the other. And we all know that Iger has all eyes set on Deadpool 3 to be their saving grace of 2024 one of disney's big you know movies basically for the marvel cinematic universe if that fails if that movie fails it's going to make disney look absolutely pathetic it will there's no doubt about it if they can't nail deadpool 3 as a success on the board they really are going to go down in financial flames truly at a rapid rate throughout next year so again as of right now, Deadpool 3 is still coming out next year. There's no delay in sight. So keep rooting for that film. Hopefully it'll be a good one. But I won't be too shocked if Disney really messes it up again this time. Again, we already know that Ryan Reynolds had quite a bit of a on and off argument with the Disney higher-ups about creative issues on the film. So that's not a good sign either. But again, about the whole Elon Musk fiasco, I would love to hear what you all have to say about Bob Iger's stance on Musk platform x and more and if you guys did enjoy the content for today make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and i will catch you guys later and